Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Crafty Cat Stitcher. My name is Kathy. This is my video number 32 and it's Monday, June the 10th, 2019. Can you believe it's June already? Um, if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. And if you are a new subscriber or a new viewer, uh, welcome. I hope that you'll enjoy what I have to show in the cross stitch world and a couple other things as usual, right? Um, Stitch Mania is done, and I kind of didn't stick to what I thought I was going to do, which was really, which was really no plan at all. If you've been watching me for a few months, you know that I was on the loosey-goosey plan, which meant whatever, but I eventually thought I was going to, um, do a whip a day, so I was going to change out every single day, and after a while, I realized that wasn't working for me, so I went back to my regular rotation. <laughs> Which, it, it, and you gotta understand, my rotation is sort of loosey goosey, also. Yeah, no rules. Cross stitch shouldn't have too many rules, should it? Okay, that's what I'm saying. Um, but I hope you did, um, had a good stitch mania and got things done and did what you wanted to do. I look at it this way, if I stitched almost every day, that's a good thing. So, you know, my little version of Stitch Mania worked for me. So, isn't that what's important? So, um, yeah, and I've got some proof of it right here. And um, we've got a little bit of rain going on. I have some <clears throat> kind of strange lighting situation today. If I leave my blinds open, my blinds are over there. If they're open, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's just way too bright. So I have to close them. And on a normal day, there's enough light coming in from this way. So I have really pretty good lighting. And today it's kind of a little bit, today is very overcast. We've been having some rain, which is a actually a good thing for us. So, um, but you know, right now it can be done as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, so I do have some whips to show, and I'm going to start off with that so that you can see what I've been doing. Um, I started off, I think since the last time you've seen me, I think this is where I picked up. I worked on my Frosty Forest, and um, this is the Snow Girl's Cottage. So cute. And I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to do a lot of reaching today because I'm far away from my table for lighting purposes once again. So um, I worked on her the cottage. Got a little bit more done, which is nice. I like this project. It's going to st stay on this roller frame until it's done. Um, stitching this on a, oh goodness, is that a 32 count linen? I think it's 32 count linen. Light gray. Very pretty. I'm going to just put this over here. Okay. Um, so that was Frosty Forest. The next one I worked on was my, um, focus piece, which is Tulip's Praise. This is one you're going to see a lot. I'm going to bend over and get it. Like I said, you know what, in fact, I'm going to move this a little bit. So, um, I started going across here. And I haven't worked on it as much as I probably should have, but this is how it looks at the moment and um so i'm doing this this whole bottom piece is done except for another border that goes around the entire design and i'm going to wait and do that last um stitching it with the um the colors the suggested colors and i'm stitching it on it's an 18 count jovelin antique white all right so um i'm happy with the way that's going I want to get it done. That's a, it's not my oldest whip, but it's up there. So um, I am going to just put these here. The next one, I worked on this a little bit, Stitch Day. We had our, our Stitch Group's Stitch Day on last Saturday. And um, I worked on No Bees, No Honey by Birds of a Feather. And there it is so far. Look. <laughs> There's actual bees in it. Um, I am stitching this in the DMC that it calls for, 
Um, and it's on 20 count, I believe, like an ivory or it's a, like a darker uh, cream color gel blend. I did do a slight color conversion for the bees. They, the part that you're seeing that's brown, the darker color, um, it called for, I forgot what the color was, but it's kind of a grayish green. And I don't know, I've never seen a grayish green bee. I mean, so I converted it, asked the st sisters and stitches. Oh, in fact, that's the color. This is the color that they, that it was supposed, this was supposed to be the darker brown. So mm -mm. now, so I got, I consulted my sisters and stitches. <laughs> we all said, no, go with the brown. Go with, with, with what you like, is what they said, really. I worked on Believe by Dimensions. It's the little kit I started, and I really like it. It's coming along really pretty. I should make this my focus piece, because I think I'm going to get this one done sooner than the tulips, but nah, I'll just keep it as is. There it is, Believe. I did this area right here, uh, the stripes, and this is like, a, it, to me this looks like, kind of like a little like a wallpaper. Somebody made a comment on how they liked the different pieces in it, and I said, it's almost like every time you start a little section of this, because that's what it is all around, it's almost like starting a new project, because it's it's totally different, every one of them is different from the other so um that's gonna be so cute I like that that was my impulse start at one point bending down next is my angel of divinity stocking gold collection if you'll recall or if you don't know this is something I started probably about 15 years ago and for some reason, I stopped. And I don't know why. And I'll show you. Ooh, now it's getting sunny. Hey, look at that. Ooh. I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to put it this way. Um, the funny thing was that this is being stitched on 18 count Ada. And it's, I'm using everything in the kit. Um, I stopped stitching it after, even after I did this red dress. And this red dress has so many different shades of red in it. And you would have thought that after I did that, I would be like, oh, I'm fine with this. But I, I for some reason, I just stopped stitching it. But um, I was urged to keep going. And I'm glad that I was urged to keep going because I like it. Um, I worked a little bit on the green in the background. <clears throat> But then I decided that I needed to start on the sheep. Um, I'm going to go get him again. See the sheep? I mean, he's so cute. Uh, the, <laughs> it's a challenge. It is a challenge because we talk about stitching on black. But this is white, pale yellow, and pale beige on white. And it's just, it's a challenge, definitely. But I'm going to keep going with it. See, there he is. You can barely see him. He'll become more apparent later on. So, is that it? That's all I have? It seems like I should have some more. Oh, I do have more. That's right. Never mind. Never mind. We'll get to that in a bit. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, I'm going to borrow a page from Kitten Sitcher, Teresa. Um, what I'm into right now Everywhere I go, it, well, and it because of the nature of my job, I'm seeing a lot of things about Apollo 11, 50th anniversary of the moon landing and moonwalk, and I am so into it. What it, This video is amazing. Um, got it from my library. You can rent it. I believe this was on IMAX a few months ago, and I wish I had gone to see it on IMAX. It was cool on the TV. It would have probably been mind-boggling IMAX, but this, um, like I said, my job, I see all sorts of books about it because there are a lot of them coming out right now, and um, 
it, you know what, if I have time, I can, you know, I don't often have time to look, look at everything, but I'll, I love flipping through them. If I have those extra couple minutes, I like to do that. So anyway, this is what I'm all into right now. And yes, I do remember it. I am of a certain age. So I do remember this. I believe that this happened. We watched this on TV the day after I got back from a sleepover. <laughs> a girl's sleepover, like a, you know, like a fifth grade girl's sleepover. Think about it. I was really tired. I'm going to put that over there. Okay. Um, you might not believe this. You won't believe it. I have a finish. I have an actual finish. Yeah. It's a tiny finish. It's a little finish. And everybody's going, well, big deal. I'm finished with that whole series. <laughs> this little house Neil works on. Farmhouse Christmas. And this one, oops, is horsing around. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Horsing around. And the last time you saw this, I believe that the horse had no tail, but he does have a tail now, along with everything else in the design. Very cute. There's a weird noise coming from downstairs. I don't know what that is. Oh, well. I'll figure it out. But anyway, I'm really happy to get this done. I am most likely going to finish it um, like I finished the first um, first one of these in a little pillow. But you never know. I could change my mind. But I like it. Um, I just love the little chicken and the blanket on the horse is so cute. Look, isn't that cute? Just love it. So anyway, a finish. Can you believe it? I have a finish. No, I'm not crying. Um, <clears throat> and if that's not mind-boggling enough, I have an FFO. <laughs> I had gone through my FFO, no, through my finishes. I have a plastic box that I keep finishes in. There aren't very many of them in there. Um, there's one that I actually don't like. I have a finish I don't like. Yeah. Um, but I don't have very many finishes just sitting. I've, I've done something with them. But the ones that are in there that I actually like, I, I thought it's about time I start doing something with them. So let's go and look. Take a look. Oh. It's Red, White, and Bloom by Country Cottage Needleworks. And it's a finish from... Quite a few years ago and why didn't I finish this I have no idea I, I guess I just didn't know what I wanted to do with it it is kind of big for me it is a, a bigger piece and so I decided um, I have those sp splintery trays they're like tray frames um, the guy that makes these uh, uses recycled barn wood I guess they you know, they have a wood shop and he makes these and sells them, and so I, he makes them as trays, but when I asked him to make me some, he said, well, I'll make them more like a frame, so it's like less deep in this part. So they're very splintery, and I'll show you the back of it. Look at that. Isn't that weird? But I did find out that they take paint really well. I wanted it to be like a whitewash, so I just took some. Uh, acrylic paint and I watered it down and just got a big brush and just went over it. So there it is. Took some red fabric. It's like a bandana fabric. Really cute. Put that on the back and then some trim. Um, I wanted the trim to kind of go underneath this and glue it in and just have nothing on the bottom. Just kind of have it join. But this trim is really thick. Um, it's wired. I it's something I got like at Joann's and it's off the spool. So, and it, like I said, it's really thick. I could not glue it behind the piece. So I took a little button and I put, did a little fabric cover on it. And I made a little ribbon rosette to put around that. And it turned out pretty cute. So I could put this with my um, patriotic display. 
which I really need to get going on. So that's that. Isn't that cool? It's kind of neat to get something done finally. And some, and at, at a good time of the year when I can just go ahead and put that out. Oh, just a minute. Okay. All right. So um, let's see what I have here. Oh, yeah. And so then while I was going through my box of finishes, just folded up finishes, I found this in there. And this is Cross Stitch Rewind. This is something I made a while back. Now, why this was in there, I don't know, um, and it's kind of sad because for, I have not put this out in the winter time for the past couple of years, and why not? Why didn't I? I guess I just, it was just in a place where it shouldn't have been, so, um, that's, it's Winter Stack by Waxing Moon Designs. Isn't that cute? It's got little buttons, it's got little cardinal buttons, a little girl and a little boy, and it's got some mittens. And then it's a little bit sparkly in the snowflakes, which isn't really coming through right now. But um, a cute little bell pull. And it's got, this hardware is really cute. When I make bell pulls, you know, I haven't made one in a long time. I've only made like three. And you know what? I tend to not back them with anything. And I know that that's something most people do. But I just hem them. I don't know. I just think I like the way it hangs better when it's just a piece of fabric. And whenever I, it, when I try to put some fabric on the back, it just seemed like it was too thick or something. I don't know. I, I, I've seen people do it successfully and very nicely, I might add, but um, I just, that's just not the way I did it. So I don't know. Maybe I w will in the future, but you know what? It's, at least it's neat, and this part's against the wall. Nobody knows. So anyway, that's Winter Stack by Waxing Moon. I don't know if that's in print anymore, if you can get it. I don't know. I stitched this a long time ago. Whenever, I think it was pretty new, so whenever this came out. But um, so cute, and I'm glad I found it, so that now I can put it with the winter things and put it up. This would be cool after Christmas just to have this out. After you put all the Christmas things away and it's kind of sad and, you know. So, um, yeah. Um, also, I have a favorite find, this video. I haven't done one in a while. And this one has a little special story. Um, a long time ago, and this had to have been 25 years ago. My mom and dad went somewhere. They went on some trip, and my mom bought me, and I, I, I don't know if she bought one for Sheila and my sister, but she bought me this little crystal bowl, and it was really small. It was only, you know, like that big round, and it was just really pretty. And I never wanted to put it away, so I thought I've always put it out on the table next to where I stitched. And then I eventually started putting orts in it. And so that became my ort container. You know, a little crystal, really pretty crystal ball. And the funny thing was my son was really small at the time. So it probably was more than 25 years ago. I don't know. Um, he started calling it the thread bucket. <laughs> thread bucket. That was so cute. And um, so fast forward a bunch of years and we moved to this house 10 years ago in July, August. And um, we had a really good move. I mean, nothing was damaged, everything. It was just the best of luck with everything, with unpacking, with just everything. And um, the only thing that broke, I only had two things break, a wine glass, who cares, right? And the thread bucket, and it broke. And it was my fault. Okay, so I felt really bad about that because after that, at that point, my mom had, she had been gone for a while and I just felt bad because it was a really nice little thing that she had given me and you know how you feel and just, you know, I don't get too attached to many, many things, but I like that. And um, so I started looking at eBay and um, 
I did searches, searches, and it had this, what I would call a thumbprint design in it. And I found something very close to it. This is not exact, but when I look at it like this, it does look like the dish that she had given me. This one's more of like a bowl. That was more like straight sided, but it, and this is a little bit smaller, but the actual design, even I think on this area and on the side, these it's it's almost exact. So this is now my thread bucket. It sits at the right hand side of me while I stitch. And um, the funny thing about it, I got it for 99 cents on eBay with I think a couple dollars shipping. And, and I think my mom would have laughed and just loved that story. So out of some, like a little miniature tragedy <laughs> came something funny and really pretty. So that's my little wort container that sits by me when I stitch. Or should I say thread bucket. All right. Um, I've not been watching a lot of floss tube. I'm just starting up again. Um, I've gotten so behind and I'm sorry if you have not seen me, um, comment, but, uh, I'm, I am getting a little bit more caught up and I haven't watched any new floss tubers, but there's a floss tuber that has been around for a little while and, um, I'm really enjoying her videos and, and she has watched mine and she is, um, let me get the name right, floss tube Canadian stitcher. And I urge you to go and watch her. She is working on the Spring Angel and it's gorgeous. Um, she works on big, nice big projects and does other things. She makes other things and shows other things. Like her latest vid video, she has a floating flower display. And you look at it and you think, oh, wow, I, you know, why don't, why don't I do something like that? We could have flowers in our house every day. She has, it, it, she does all sorts of things. And one of the other things that I like that she does, her name is Lynn. And she um, does a segment on different tools and how she makes the tools or what you use certain tools for, for stitching. And it's really interesting. She's very informative and very pleasant. So go watch Floss Tube Canadian Stitcher. I hope you do. Um, okay, I've got some new stuff. All right. <laughs> I was watching um, Count Twice Stitch Once, Connie and Melina, and Connie was talking about the <laughs> shop for mustache, which a group of us were supposed to be doing, but, and I thought to myself, well, you know, yeah, I should have been doing that. But and then I just laughed and laughed because, you talk about something flying out the window, shop from stash. You know, you, <laughs> I do a little bit, but lately it's been a little bit more than that. I mean, you'll see in a minute. All right. <laughs> okay, I made some purchases. I went to Luminous Fiber Arts on Etsy, Misty Purcell, and a Bluebird Salute. I just could not pass it by. Look at that bird. Look at his hat. Really? Come on. How could I not? In fact, I'm getting this one kitted up. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have it done for 4th of July. I had to have a 4th of July display. And, um, but I don't, I don't think it will be, but it'll be fun to work on. So that's um, a Bluebird Salute. Also from Misty, I bought, let me see, where is it? There he is. Ooh, I like this one too. Brenda Gervais, this is the Holiday Hoopla 4th of July. Isn't that cute? I love that. Shop your stash. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with shopping your stash. But, you know, if all these cute patterns weren't coming out, I wouldn't be buying all this. Uh, oh, goodness. Um, I think I got this one on... Wait a minute. I'm so confused. 
I got this one on Stash and Load, Bent Creek, and it's called Yarn Ball of Kitty Hats. And it's a kit. It comes with the fabric and the floss. It's it's done on um, huge count fabric with pearl cotton. And look how cute it is. Come on. Now how could I pass that up? I probably need to stay off a of stash unload and everything else. Got this one on stash unload. Heartstring samplery. Oh, best of little fobs. And that's the teapot. Tea time. I'm sorry. Tea time edition. Isn't that cute? They're really cute. Also from them. Ooh, Plum Street Samplers Blackberry House. I had seen this one before and I know I liked it. So stash unload. Isn't that pretty? So and then um, another place that I like to get charts from that is, is very, very good to deal with and just a pleasant experience is um, Jen McRae on Facebook, uh, The Whole Stitching Caboodle. If you have not gone, go to Facebook and join the Caboodle train. And I'm just having fun. She presents things so well and is so pleasant to deal with that I had to buy Patriotic House Trio by Waxing Moon Designs. Cute, cute, and cute. Look at So many things to stitch. Also, Heartstring Samplery, Sweet Land of Liberty. Isn't that pretty? All right, I gotta get stitching, don't I? So, yeah, it's my day off, and I need to actually get stitching. Yeah, and I need to shop my stash. <laughs> okay, plans. What are my plans? Um, I don't know. I just am going to keep up with my um, little rotation, some kind of a rotation, just... Which lately has been like three days for each, and then I put the focus piece in a little more often, which is a good plan for me. It works well. Oh, one more thing I got. Oh, I gotta move this. Okay. From Misty Purcell, when I ordered the two charts, I got a new needle minder. It's a kitty cat with a crown on. A cat, look at, she's got a crown. Isn't that the attitude of all cats? Yes, it is. I have a cat in my house who probably thinks she needs a crown. So that, this is cute. So anyway. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to keep up with my rotation, have some fun, just enjoy stitching like I usually do. I have fun with it. I don't take it too seriously. I hope that if you have never watched me before, you have enjoyed this video. So please subscribe, comment, and like if you are so inclined. I love comments. Um, I enjoy every single one, and I appreciate every single one of my viewers, um, subscribers or not. Um, I, I just hope that I'm doing everything that you are interested in if there's if there are any questions or if you have any suggestions for my videos give them to me i am flexible and i am fine with comments and critiques and i don't care i am not my feelings are not going to get hurt unless you swear at me which i know you won't um <laughs> i hope not um, okay, so I hope that you enjoy your stitching this week. It's Monday. It's a whole week ahead of us. Enjoy your time. Um, enjoy the weather wherever you are. I hope that it's good. I hope that you're not having anything really bad. And if you are, you are in my prayers and thoughts. And yeah, yeah, there's a lot going on right now with that, with weather. So um, just have a great week.
comment below, please. And I will see you soon. Bye.